क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in today's video we are going to see what do you mean by narrow band rigid filter what is the circuit and frequency response of narrow band rigid filter so let's begin with the topic narrow band rigid filter as its name indicates it reject a narrow band of frequency basically the narrow band rigid filter is also called as notch filter and it comes under the category of band rigid filter band rigid filter as its name indicates it rejects a particular band of frequency and it allows all the frequency beyond a rejection band so in case of band rigid filter there is a one stop band and two pass band and to differentiate between pass band and stop band two frequencies are required to be defined they are fh and fl FL is the frequency on higher side and FH is the frequency on lower side. Now, in case of band rigid filter, based on the value of Q, that means the value of Q factor, that is quality factor, the band rigid filter is get classified into two types. If the value of Q is higher than 10, then the type of filter is nothing but narrow band rigid filter. because as the value of q is get increase bandwidth of the filter is get reduced there is a relationship between q factor and bandwidth and the relationship is q is equals to fc upon bandwidth so as bandwidth is inversely proportional to q factor higher value of q factor provides less bandwidth so as bandwidth is get reduced the frequency response get more and more sharper in case of narrow band rigid filter the value of q is very much higher that is greater than 10 and therefore the bandwidth is very much smaller as compared to wide band rigid filter now let's first understand what do you mean by narrow band rigid filter using twin network most of the time the notch filter or narrow band rigid filter uses a 20t network Twin T network is nothing but the passive network made up of resistors and capacitor. As its name indicate, it consists of two T networks. So let's first understand the circuit of twin T network. The circuit of twin T network consists of first T network, which uses two resistors having value R and R by two, and one capacitor having value C, in which input is given. And other T network consists of two capacitor having value 2 and 2c and one resistor having value r the output is taken on other side of 20 network in case of 20 network as it is a passive network it has a very less value of q factor but it defines a frequency which is called as notch out frequency fn at which <clears throat> maximum attenuation that means maximum elimination of the frequency takes place and that frequency is nothing but a notch out frequency fn only the value of fn is calculated by using value of resistor and capacitor and it is given as fn is equals to 1 upon 2 pi rc the 20 network as it having less q factor that means as the value of q is very much smaller therefore it provides higher bandwidth this disadvantage of 20 network is eliminated by using op amp so when we connect op amp along with 20 network we will get higher value of q factor and therefore less bandwidth the notch filter or 20 notch filters are basically used to remove signal frequencies that is 50 hertz power line hum so let's first see how the circuit of 20 network along with op amp looks like now when we use op amp the op amp is required to be used in voltage follower configuration so from the diagram we will come to know that the 20 network along with the input signal is applied to the non inverting terminal of op amp and op amp is used in voltage follower configuration so because of this the value of q is get higher and bandwidth is get reduced if we look at the frequency response which is nothing but the graph between frequency and gain where frequency is plotted on x axis and gain is plotted on y axis then in that case the frequency response becomes more sharper that means the band which is rejected by filter is get more narrower as compared to wide band rigid filter so here bandwidth is nothing but fl minus fh as 
the frequency response is getting more, more and more sharper, the bandwidth is get reduced and therefore we can select a particular frequency which is required to be rejected by filter. When we connect op amp to the 20 network, the notch out frequency value is remains same that is 1 upon 2 pi RC only. Most of the time, the notch filters are used in the applications such as biomedical instrument communication network where we require to reject a particular frequency. So in that case, a very sharp frequency response is required. That means only a one particular frequency is required to be rejected by the circuit. So in that case, a notch filter or narrow band reject filters are used. So I hope you understand the topic of notch filter or narrow band reject filter which is having one stop band and two pass band. The stop band having a very high value of Q which rejects a particular frequency only. So I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.